Good morning, students. Today's uh, revision class, we are going to discuss about CPU scheduling algorithms. So, totally, there are six types of uh, process scheduling algorithms. The first one is FCFS. So, FCFS stands for first to come, first to serve. First to come, first to serve algorithm. And second one is shortest job first, SJF. SJF stands for shortest job first and third one is SRT okay so SRT is already you know both are similar third one is shortest remaining time algorithm and fourth one is priority so priority will be given one two three four five so based on the priority you're going to schedule the process the fourth one is priority scheduling <coughs> fifth one is <coughs> excuse Round robin, round robin scheduling. The last one, sixth one is multi level. So, multi level queue scheduling. Multi level queue scheduling. So, first, we are going to see about the first, uh, first uh, scheduling that is FCFS. Okay, so first, we are going to see about the first one FCFS. Algorithm, algorithm, and with we'll see an example. Okay, so mostly you get a problem on this. Okay, they, so they'll give you a process arrival time and burst time. They'll ask you to find out the turnaround time and the average waiting time. Okay, so first, first you're going to take the process will be given and the arrival time. AT is arrival time and BT is the burst time. So both will be given to you. So from this you are going to draw the GAN chart and then you have to go into find out the average waiting time and average turnaround. Now see the process P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Arrival time is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The burst time is 4, 3, 1, 2 and 5. So now we are first we are going to see about in this first we are going to find out the average waiting time and turnaround time. So these uh, these two we are going to find out and the gun chart. So basically you will get one 13 mark on this question. Okay. So all FCFS, SJF, priority, round robin. So all these four combined together you get one 13 mark. So in this video we are going to see about FCFS or alone FCFS. So first we are going to draw the gun chart. So basically you students did well in the unit test, but you have to concentrate more on the problematical part in the operating system. So first, first FCF first to come, first to serve process. So first P1 will be allocated in this cell. Okay, so now after this P1, next is P2 because arrival time is 1. Okay, so P2. So next P3 because of 2. Okay, so next P4, 3, next P5 is 4. So first you are going to take the burst time the burst time is so start with zero okay so zero to four so next p2 p2 next add three seven next seven plus one is eight eight plus two is ten and then ten plus five will be fifteen now we have the next step we are going to calculate the waiting time so how do you calculate the waiting time so already we have studied this so you will be aware of this but just you have to just this this class is about the revision of this okay now p1 so p1 is you have to take the number to the left side for p2 is 4 p3 is 7 p4 is 8 p5 is 10 so first put the numbers for p1 it is 0 so p2 it is what what for p2 it is 4 you have to take p2 left okay so p3 left p3 left is 7 and p4 it is 8 p5 what P5 it is 10. Then subtract with the arrival time. We have to subtract with the given arrival time. Okay, so for P1 it is 0. P2 arrival time is 1. 7 minus 2. 8 minus 3. And 10 minus 4. Okay, so now what is 0 minus 0? 0. 4 minus 1, 3. 7 minus 2 it is 5. Next we calculate the next one. 8 minus 3 is 5. And 10 minus 4 it is 6. So you have to give the unit. Unit should be in milliseconds. Everything milliseconds. Now you are going to calculate the average. Average equal to 
sum divided by number of quantities okay so now average waiting time is a sum 3 plus 5 okay 0 plus 3 plus 5 plus okay 5 plus 6 so what is the sum the so sum will be 10 16 and 19 Okay, the so sum is 19 divided by 5. So, what is 19 divided by 5? What is the answer? 5 3 is 15. So, 15 is 4. So, answer is 3.8 milliseconds. So, this is, you, be, you will be aware of this. Okay, if you do this FCFS correctly, you, you will get the total mark for this FCFS. Marks will be at 4 marks for this FCFS. So, 4 marks for SGF, 4 marks for power. So, mark will be allocated based on your so 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 you get so now how do you calculate the next one is you are going to calculate the turnaround time so how to calculate the turnaround time so what turnaround time already you know this is similar to the waiting time so p1 p1 completed so before waiting time we have seen the left but for you have to see the completed process in p1 completing at 4 so next 4 minus 0 it is 4 okay so next p2 so where is p2 completing completing at 7 so 7 minus 1 it is 6. Now P3 where is P3 completed? Completed at 8. So 8 minus 2 again it is 6. Now next P4. P4 where it is completed? Completed at 10. So 10 minus 3 7. Now P5 where is P5 completed? P5 is completed at 15. So 15 minus 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. So now your next step is average turnaround time. Average turn time is add everything. 6 plus 6 how much? 12, 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 11, 27. 27 plus 7, 34. So 34 is the total. So 34 by 5 will give you average turn around time. So that is 5, 6 are 30. So 6.8 milliseconds. Okay. So, so this is the wait. So this is the answer. Okay. This is the average waiting time. And this is the average turnaround time. So in this tutorial we saw about FCFS. In the next tutorial we will see about HDF. Thanks for listening.